no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So as you can tell, we are not on county line. Um, so this is my ranching save game on uh, Central Valley by Random Sparks Media. Um, and we're just going to do some playing on here, because this is kind of what I've been playing on lately. Uh, and haven't really done much on the county line series. Um, so I can give you guys a quick tour of the stuff that I've got going on here. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on hauling some hay, uh, which is why the Ford and PJ are sitting there. Um, so here we have the Dodge Ram 3500 Dually, uh, kind of the main farm, pick, like driving around pickup. Uh, the Ford F350 Power Stroke, this is kind of like the trailer puller. Um, and then the PJ Gooseneck, obviously. Got a little workshop here. Um, just for taking care of things like customizations at the farm here. Uh, Case IH 380 Magnum hooked to a couple of Lely mowers. Um, I believe these are just in-game mowers, aren't they? Yeah, these are just in-game mowers. They're not mods or DLCs. Um, I haven't bought... Well, I did buy the dairy cattle once already. But I forgot that with 17 now, if you don't feed them, they die. So I'm just going to have to rebuy them later on, but that's okay. So there's two silage bunkers here. This one is going to be for the actual silage, and then this one for the uh, um, ground corn. Uh, here we have the corn and draper headers for the combine. Um, in here, uh, there's some bales that... We're in here at the start, so I'll just, I'll use them. I'll use those up first. But anyway, then we got the uh, Kuhn GA9531 uh, Rake, the New Holland Roll Belt 460 Baler, uh, Class 980 Jaguar with the 900 Orbis Cornhead, uh, Pitbull Blade on the Case IH 620 for Pack and Pits, and then we've got two John Deere 8970s uh, hooked to Penta DB50 trailers. Um, if we run over to here, we've got a few more pieces of equipment. Um, we've got the straw blower, um, the Kuhn Primor 15070. The JCB 325T skid steer with a CSZ bale fork. Uh, this is mostly going to be used for during like feeding and stuff. Uh, Case International 7150 hooked to the Silo King uh, Duo 1814 uh, mixer wagon. We have the toolbox here so that way I can do like the customizations and stuff. Um, you know, even though the other thing does that as well. Here's the bales that I have so far. The stack didn't start out so well, and it is still kind of a little messy, but the bale physics are not exactly the greatest in Farming Simulator anyways, so not exactly sure what the open and fade blade does. Like, I'm not sure what that exactly does. Uh, I don't care to find out right now anyways. Uh, we have New Holland... 110 11090 uh, with a in the in-game loader and then a CSZ fork again using this for um, um, unloading the bales right now but we're gonna go ahead uh, that's all the equipment that we got um, I have made a total of 361 round bales and I've got about probably 60 or so hauled already. Um, as you can see, we got the crops planted. We have wheat in 8, 9, 28, and 12. And then corn in 13, 14, 15, 19, and 23. Uh, the wheat has come up. Um, it has been fertilized, so does not need to be fertilized anymore. Um, I have my stages set to just one day or one fertilized thing. 
Like I only have to fertilize once. Um, there, are n there are a few machines over here as well. Um, in here we have the Great Plains uh, corn planter. We have a 8970 with duels. Uh, Great Plains 3S 3000 HD drill. A Landall 7400, I believe, is what this is. 7431 uh, disc. And then we got a Mandaco. I believe this. I'm pretty sure this is 85 foot, isn't it? Somebody asked me that on. Yeah, 85 foot. Uh, somebody asked me about that on Instagram, and I wasn't 100% positive. Um, and then in here we have the International Transtar 2, hooked to a Neville-built uh, hopper, just to get some extra grain capacity. And then we have a 2388 with duels for our combining. Uh, we got in here the Massey Ferguson 8737, and then the Dua. Uh, this is what grinds the corn. So... We'll be using that in uh, the fall. And then a Meridian 400 SLD seed tender. So I'm going to see if I can try and get... I'm going to try and see if I can get these doors to shut. I don't know why, but this one's not been wanting to shut. The doors on this map are kind of funky. But anyway, uh, we do have one more piece of equipment, but we'll see that when we get out to it. And we're going to go ahead... Um, is my game volume turned down enough? Yes, okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head out, and basically what I'm gonna do in this video is we'll load the trailer, um, and then unload it, because it'll take about, probably about an hour almost. Um, I know I hauled two loads and it took about two hours or so, uh, by the time I had finished loading the second one. But this might also take a little longer because there's not another full load worth left in the field. Um, I have fields 5, 18, and 24 cut. And then I have a little bit of ditch uh, cut you know, on the way out there to each field. Um, you can see I have an area cut right here. I have a few bales sitting down here so we'll just kind of have to put the tractor on follow me mod and uh, move the truck. Uh, we're on day five of spring. I have my season set to six days. Uh, it is supposed to rain, so I'm trying to get these bales hauled as fast as I can, so that way I can have them under the shed before the rain comes. Um, I am thinking I'm going to have to put place another shed, because uh, those two green sheds that you saw, um, those are placeables. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to place another one just so I have space to haul to not to haul but to store the straw bales because there are quite a few hay bales and I think it's going to take up most of that shed and I do want to try and get as many straw bales as I can because you go through those quite fast uh, as well so here we are at the field as you can see I did you know I just cut past the edge of the field because why not there's grass there I wasn't using course play, I did it all by hand, so I didn't have to worry about a edge of the field or anything. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll leave that run. And we'll leave it sit, and we'll hop into the uh, 6210R is what I got over here in the field. With a John Deere front loader on it, and then uh, another CSZ bale fork. Because they're about the best bale fork that I got. Um, and my... Automatic loading is set to on, so we'll go ahead and start loading. Uh, so I use the automatic loading of the spears to load the trailer. Uh, for the most part, I do once in a while turn it off. If I need to do like one bale at a time, um, then I will turn it off. And But otherwise, most of the time I just do it this way. Uh, they load onto the spears a whole lot easier, and they stack pretty nicely. They do roll a little bit on the trailer, um, but you guys will see what I do to change that. Um, yeah, like I said, the only reason I'm doing video on here is because this is about the only one that I've played on lately, uh, save game-wise, and I 
I just really didn't uh, feel like rushing to get some of other stuff done on the County Line series and figured this would be something a little bit different. Um, you guys can watch some hay loading. Get these. Oh, too far. So once these bales are on the forks, they don't have a collision on them anymore. So you can drive right through the bales like you just saw. Uh, which does kind of suck, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, this tractor is what I was using for raking mostly. And then our uh, little red new haul in there that you saw. Whoa. Uh, that is what I used to bale with. Uh, it was, makes a perfect perfect baling tractor so there's another two four six bales here so yeah there's not very many bales on this field but we do have a few to pick up in the ditches so we'll get those picked up as we move to the next field uh, this field alone has I think around 111 bales on it roughly and those did not go on very nice at all I'm gonna repick those ones up try and get them on here a little bit nicer because if I left it that way when I push all the bales forward at the end these ones would just completely fly, lie off wonky Yeah, I would uh, use the Dodge for, you know, I would have just used only the Dodge, but I haven't figured out if it's a collision on the truck or on the trailers, but something, whenever I tried hooking up the uh, Dodge to a trailer, it just didn't like it, it didn't want to sit right, so I uh, figured, you know, I know that this Ford works, so I just got that instead. Um, it's pretty okay truck definitely not uh, my most favorite uh, my most favorite trucks are still back in 15 but oh well might get them converted someday whenever I learn the trick to modding 17 here so we just got uh, four more bales left here in this field and then we'll be able to head on over to uh, Field 24, that'll be the one that I do next. So I still got room to put about two more on each side. Uh, at least, you know, in this way that these bales are right now. Um, but like I said, you guys will see see what I do in in the strapping or in the loading, not the strapping, in the loading. Now I am do trying to play this as realistic as possible. Um, normally, I just use an auto load trailer, like a trailer that'll load these bales on its own and then just drop them down. And where I drop them is where they stay. I never stack them, but figured 17's bale physics are a whole lot nicer than 15's. So I figured uh, I'll just go for it. Okay, so now we will s throw some straps on here. Auto save already. Okay, so that strap's not gonna catch anything. We got that one. That one's not really gonna do any good. Yeah, I'll put that one down anyways. Okay. So now we'll kind of slowly make our way over to these other bales here. And like I said, we'll throw the tractor on uh, follow me here. This pickup definitely 
squats pretty well when uh, I get it all fully loaded. Keep him back a little ways, so that way he doesn't slam the trailer or anything. In this pickup, you can tell it is already dropped a little bit, but it it drops pretty far once this trailer is fully loaded. I can get about 33 bales a load if I stack it correctly. Uh, I can fit about 33 on it, so you can get quite a few bales off at once. So we're just going to tab to this guy because... Dang it. I'm just going to pick this bale up and then get him going again. Hopefully the bale stays on. So we'll just drive until we hit the next bale and then um, do the same thing and then go until I get to the next bale and then we'll unload the forks and uh, do it all and then do it all over again. Bet if I got him, if I drove close enough, I bet you I could get this guy to just do it on his own but so now I'm not doing very realistically because I'm sitting here tabbing all a whole bunch but that's what I gotta do right now so we got one bale there and that does look like a little bit more of a flat spot Go ahead and we'll just pull off into the grass here. So those bales aren't really sitting that great, but they will get moved. Okay, so I'm just going to take this tractor. The next bale shouldn't be too far up. So it should be just up here, and there should be a patch of bales where I cut out, or a couple of bales where I cut out that big patch. So is that a farm up there? Oh no, it's a sawmill. Okay, so we'll pick up this bale and we'll get up here a little farther to where the rest of these bales are up here. There should be, I think there's like two or three up here. I can see three. Maybe three or four. I don't know. Okay. And we better throw some straps down, otherwise, these bales are going to go flying. That one's really not going to hold a whole lot. That one's not going to hold anything. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just going to have to drive careful because that bale on the end there might go flying. It's not exactly up far enough. I wish there was at least one more strap on here. Uh, and even, like, straps on the ramps. Because then... You could really stack stuff far back, but I mean, at least it's got straps. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just take them all off. Whoa, or not. We will wait until we stopped. <laughs> Probably should have thought of that in the beginning. Would have been kind of smart, but.
Okay, so now we will grab these next two. And then is where it gets a little bit trickier. As you guys will see here in a moment. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these down. Take them off. We're going to back up. Change the collision so that it's not auto-loading anymore. Gonna spike these. Let me go up to the trailer. And then I drop them down. Alright, so now we got it. Let me take a little bit of the pressure off here. And there we go. So now, we got that done. And actually, this one bale could move in just a little bit. So to do that, we're just going to use the tire. I know that that is not at all realistic. Nor is it anything that you would want to do in real life. Actually, it drove right through there. That's kind of weird. But that's what I'm going to do. So now we can turn it back to the auto-loading or the rest of the load, or well, most of it anyways. So we grab this bale and then we'll just head on down the road with this. We'll leave the pickup sit there for a moment. There should be one more bale along here. And then we're gonna get into some hilly stuff, so loading might be kinda interesting. I might just have to do a lot more uh, driving with the tractor than I have been just so that way I can drive down to a flat spot or at least park the pickup in a way that the bales won't roll right off the end and there's one bale here and then uh, I don't know if there's another bale in the ditch until I get up to the field no there's not so we're good then so we'll just bring the pickup right over here. So in average, the I was averaging about 120 and a third bales per field. So I mean, not too bad. Uh, we got to strap this all down because I don't want it moving from the position that it's in. It's all stacked in here nicely right now. So if you know what the little knife icon is for, let me know in the comments. I haven't... I have a guess that it's like you can just cut the bale or something. Um, one second. Um, like I said, my guess is that it you can like push on the... Or like cut the bale and then... I don't know. I don't know. I really, really don't know what it does. Uh, but if you, if you know, uh, let me know. I have thought about firing up a save, like my test save game, and just mowing a little hay and then making a bale just to try it. But I just haven't yet. Uh, so how many bales we got on here right now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So we got eighteen on here. So we can fit 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, yep, 33 bales. So I loaded it correctly. Loaded it just right. So we'll stop right there. And we'll undo all those, and then we'll get back into the tractor here. And get these, get this load finished off here. What are we doing for time? 25 minutes, so not bad. 
not bad at all. Yeah, I am just going to have to do a lot more driving in this field than I have been doing uh, between, you know, where the bales are and pickup just because of this hill because I really don't want to have to worry about them rolling right off the trailer or anything. And when I load this top part, I always lift the bales a little bit higher than I normally do when I'm loading, like, the bottom. Just because I'm worried that, like, if these bales pop up any, that it's going to send the whole load flying. And then I'm going to be having to completely reload it and everything. So, I would like to avoid that at all costs. So if they gotta drop a little bit, that's fine by me. Which they don't drop too far. They don't have very far to fall. So I think, I've been trying to think of what my first FS17 mod project can be. Uh, something to just kind of like start learning some of the basics. And I think I finally just decided, I think I'm going to make a hay trailer for semis. Because, uh, you know, make a nice long hay trailer, sim something similar to the one that we've got uh, on our farm. We've got one that we hook behind the semi and uh, can haul quite a few bales with it so I think uh, think I'd make one of those and um, use that something to get a few more bales hauled in a load and be I think that'd be kind of a neat project and I can mess with straps and lights all in one Um, I am going to convert my map over at some point and, you know, probably some mods uh, and get things into 17, but I don't know when at some point. So now we come to the part where, again, I have to take off the auto loading um, because we just have three more bales put on here. And unfortunately, it's not things that are in a row like they are right now. So, although I do use it just to bring the bales over here. Or, well, I am right now just because there's two bales sitting here that are right next to each other. So I can grab both of them and then bring them over and drop them back up. Change the collisions again. and Basically the same thing that I did with the back. So we'll go ahead and we'll drop them. We're going to back up, change the collision. And we'll get lined up. Um, these bales aren't big enough for the two spears to go through them. So you just get a spear it on one. Which is rather annoying. In a way. But then again, it's not... Shoot. Man, should have known I was taking that corner a little too fast. But it did almost line itself up. So, 
guess I can't complain about that. Alright, so we'll just get ourselves lined up here. Try to get this thing off without causing any issues. Perfect. Alright, so now this one needs to go on the other spear. Because it's on the other side of the trailer. And this one I won't drop, I promise. Or I'll try not to anyways. So we're pretty lined up here. Alright, now all we need is one more bale and we are good to go. We can get this load strapped down and get it to the farm and get it unloaded. So this one will go on the very back end. Then this one will It'll go a little bit farther in than those two bales on the back there. Uh, just because it, it can go a little farther in than these bales. I usually have been pushing it all the way up as far as I can. Just to try and make sure that I get a strap on it. Are. So now we'll just change the collision again, and then when we come back, we will be all ready to go. Actually, I'm going to leave it off for a moment. Okay, there we go. And we'll go ahead and we'll shut that guy off. And we will get our load strapped down, and we'll get back to the farm and get it unloaded. I know I can put them on in the pickup, but it seems a little bit more realistic to do it this way. So there you go. As you can see, now the strap goes over that top bale there. Otherwise, it would be just behind it like those bales there. And you can see the pickup is squatting pretty good. And whenever I drive now, it's blowing out black. Only well, it was the other day. I guess it's not going to this time. This pickup is a bit of a fuel hog, actually. I filled it up once already, and I can see that it's uh, not far off from going to be needing it again in a little while. I'm using about 52 liters an hour uh, while we're driving, and then it uses it's running about four liters an hour when it's just sitting there idling. I mean, I'm sure I could just shut it off and then turn it on again when I'm done loading but kind of doesn't pay in a way I did turn the traffic off just because it would be a hassle with this trailer and with anything because the vehicles are like so close to each other on here that it's impossible to get anything out of here without them smacking into it so I just figured you know what forget it I'll just do it a different way I don't know why, like, the first time that I go into the yard, it just starts, like, lagging. But then, in most of the other times, it's pretty fine. So, I don't know. Kind of weird. I'm hauling on uh, that field there will definitely be a little bit nicer. I won't have as far to drive, because I can just drive through the field there. I mean, I'm sure I could do it right now, going from the field that I'm in currently, but... 
it's not really ideal. All right, so we are good to go. Yeah, 3.8 liters an hour idling. So we'll go ahead and we'll undo all of our straps. So my bales did lose a little bit because they were in a little rain shower, so I did lose a little bit of grass, but oh well, it's nothing too huge, I guess. Um, so let me see, where's my stack at right now? Perfect. Wait, what? I think. Do it. Can I? No. Okay. So... We're going to unstack this a little bit differently than it was stacked. Just because I'm trying to make it so everything works. So this one I don't have the auto loading on. Just because it would be a bit of a pain in the butt with a trailer. Just because of the way that you know everything is, how it's all so close. Okay, I think it would try picking up bales from like the bottom and stuff. So... Plus, this works just fine. Oh no. I don't want to take that bale with me. There we go. Now what I'll do is set them on the ground while I'm still driving. Just get them all the way back. See, as you can tell, my stack has kind of shifted around a little bit a couple of times, but... But it is kind of hard to stack. These bales don't always want to cooperate, like you can see. I'm starting to think that I should probably shift this over again, this stack or something, because I am pushing on here now. Oh well, we'll be okay. Just gotta watch my driving here. Now we can take this one bale off the back here. That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay. Yeah, 
this is not working correctly. Okay, let's see if I can get this bale in there where it belongs. And then hopefully get that one other one in there. And I am going to see if I can shift this all over a little bit. Not much, but just a little. Oh, if I can even get this bale in here now. I don't know if I can. I'll just get in here as best as I can and then... Might have to just do some fancy uh, footwork here. Yeah, that stack definitely did not work correctly here. Again, I'm going to just back into my stack and push things over a little bit. Uh, I think that's about the best that I'm going to get. get it. I guess it doesn't really need to be absolutely perfect, but I guess that's the one nicer thing about square bales, is they stack so much better, but I enjoy the round bales, so I mean, I could even make it easier and just use an auto loader, but I don't really want to. First is we're going to push this bale in. It's not all the way in. Now we can throw this one up here. There we go, now we got it all fixed up. Yeah, my stack is definitely getting out of control here. <laughs> it is definitely getting screwed up. Everything's moving. And there it all goes. Dang. Well. I think I am going to have to do it, uh... Jeez, this kind of sucks. I don't have an auto loader trailer right now either. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to have to do here. I can still stack the bales in here. I just have to do it in a bit different of a way. So I am going to use the auto loading part of this now and the way that I'm going to do it is going to be much nicer. Boom, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload this trailer and just set these bales down out here. And then, um, I will get an auto loader trailer downloaded. I saw one, but I just didn't go download it, I guess. 
and I am going to resort to using that. Maybe. Well, I'm going to use it just to get all those bales out of there so I can restack everything. And I need to do... I'm going to restack everything a little bit different of a way. So, I am still going to, you know, manually load and unload the trailers. I just need to do it in a bit different of a way than I am right now. So I guess this does unload pretty nicely, so maybe it will work. Yeah, it kind of sucks though, go through all that work to load it, you know, stack everything and now my stack's just a complete mess, but such is life I guess, right? So I can get this thing to unload pretty nicely. I just got to make sure that I'm staying up and whatnot. Make sure I got my spear staying up far enough and all that stuff. Oh, I'm way into those wheels. Minus $10 wage payment. For what? Hmm. Last I checked, I don't have anything hired or anything going. So yeah, I'll do another video on uh, this thing for now. Um, I guess if you guys would rather see this series than the county line one, it's totally up to you guys. But um, for now, I'm just going to kind of keep this as temporary. Just for a couple episodes. Just, uh, because like I said, I don't have anything done for anything else, so. Oops. Forgot, I need to be stopped completely. Pickup is starting to lift a little bit now that I'm getting bales off up front. I mean, the back really doesn't matter because that's not where all the weight is on the truck, it's all up in front. In a way, I wish this trailer had at least auto unload that where, like, you know, I can load it, but then I can just drop them all down beside it. That would be kind of nice. Because then I could, uh, you know, just drop everything off the trailer and then, you know, unload it that, or, you know, stack everything that way. But I guess it's not going to work that way, so. Oh, well. Anyway, I kind of saw it coming that the stack was going to completely, like, blow up in my face, but then again, I kind of wish it hadn't, but oh well. Like I said, I kind of expected it, just because it's farm sim for you. 1.3 miles. What? What the heck's it talking about? 
Like I can only drive that far with them on or something? I have no idea. Trying to see if I had a button on my uh, joist or my side panel or joystick, I guess that would do it, but evidently not. Actually, I think what I might do, since I am getting the autoloader, just to, just because it, you know, I got rain coming, and I'd kind of like to just get this hay done so I can fast forward. Um, I think I might just use the autoloader to haul the rest of these bales and get them all brought back here and get them all spread out all over the place here in giant piles, <laughs> and uh, just do it that way because, like I said, I am kind of Russian rain here so it would kind of help with that but <clears throat> it definitely does suck I wish that the bale physics could be ten times as good as they are now I mean they are pretty decent right now but I really do think that they could be even better Giant still has a little ways to go on their bales. I mean, if the bales could be like real life, where they stack super well and all that stuff, that would be perfect. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get a trailer downloaded and uh, get this video started on uh, rendering, and then we'll get uh, I'll get back to you guys in the next video. So, thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.